Okay, now what we need to do next is uh, going to be to get the location. So what that means is that we need to get the geo coordinates of our user. We're gonna save the coordinates as what we've been doing before. We save it. If they exist, we ask for them. If they don't exist, sorry, if they don't exist, we ask for them. If they exist, we don't do anything. That sort of thing that we've been doing before. Just sorry. All right, I was closing the window with my foot. Great, all right. So let's create a new geo, not weather.js. Awesome. And here we just put weather.js. All right, now weather is going to have what we always has function in it and then we call init, all right? And now we're gonna call function load chords, all right? And here we're gonna say load chords, loaded chords equals local storage, get item, and let's create a constant for the string chords equals chords. So local storage, get item, chords, sweet. If loaded chords is no, we're gonna call the function ask for chords. That doesn't exist yet. Else, here we're gonna call the function get weather. This will be later. Load chords, awesome. All right, let's get the function ask for chords function ask for chords all right the what we're going to use is an api for the navigator navigator so many things there's many things here there's a navigator there is window there is document blah 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 in this case we're going to use navigator and we're going to use an api called you can see all this thing here there is so many in the navigator storage vendor vibrate oh fuck you can make the thing vibrate i think if it's a phone you can make it vibrate Awesome. All right, what we're gonna use is something called geolocation. And geolocation is an object that has these functions. Clear watch, get current position, watch position. In this case, we're gonna get current position. And get current position has one and two and three, only two, I guess, they can do true. It has two requirements. The first requirement is a function that handles him when it's a success. And this comes with a position argument. Console log position. All right, so that will be handle geo success. Now the other one will be handle geo error. And that one, function handle geo error. And here we're gonna say console log can't access geo location. All right, let's see what happens when we come here and we refresh. We inspect console, does it work? Why? Ask for geo chords, loaded, oh, loaded chords, sorry, not load, loaded chords. All right, now that I refresh, as you can see here, it says file, this means this website wants to know your location. This is how easy it is to get somebody's location, okay? This is what all you see on the websites that they wanna get your location. This is how easy it is to get your location. Now, this is happening again, because in local storage, they are, undefined, they don't exist yet. So before I say allow, before I do that, let me, no, you know what, fuck it, let's say allow and you will see what's up. So we refresh and I want to know my locations. I click, click here and it says, ah, oh, fucking hell, can't access geolocation. But now here I go allow and what happens? 
there we go position chords coordinates latitude longitude and timestamp and whatever so there is an object called inside a position we have an object called chords and then latitude and longitude all right let's copy this good and now we just come here and we do const latitude equals latitude yep and then const longitude equals position chords longitude and now let's make a chords object you don't have to put up okay you can do whatever i just put it because i just want to be precise and we're going to use latitude latitude and longitude longitude uh, a small trick of javascript when you have the same things the same variable name and you want to save it with the same name on an object what you can do is well what you can do is just do this and that is the same thing as doing latitude equals latitude longitude equals longitude all right and now what we want to do is save the um save the chords i know what you're thinking we we could do local storage here but i prefer to divide and conquer save chords chords object and here we're gonna say save chords chords object and over here we're gonna do local storage set item chords and again json stringify this should be a string chords object sweet so we refresh i allow it here it should give it to me once she, he gets it or no let's look at that chords there we go latitude and longitude saved you see this beautiful thing saved automatically saved so now if i refresh he doesn't ask me anymore because they're there i have them there good stuff all right whoa all right good stuff so this part is done how much time let's do let's go bye bye on this one all right so this one has just been accessing latitude and longitude now you can do whatever you want with this what we're going to do on the next video is that we're going to go to this api you need to sign up here you go to api you need to sign up in here sign up I'm already signed in you need to sign up they give you whatever and then you will come here api keys over here and you will copy this bad boy over here and you're gonna put it at the top of your weather file and we're gonna call this api key and this will be useful later in this course, we're not gonna access any other data apart from this one. On the other course that we have, we built a full clone of YouTube. So there you're gonna learn how to access more data from other sources, from other servers. Right now, we're only gonna access data from this server and we need this API key for other reasons. So I will see you on the next one. See you soon, bye-bye.